It's revealed how much Russians gave to John Podesta's company. What a face there, right? Disturbing. John Podesta is having some real issues now after more and more evidence suggests that he had strong ties with the Russian official. Too strong, probably. It is confirmed that John Podesta received $35 million from eminent Russian company while he was working for Hillary Clinton. Podesta is going to have a turbulent winter this year. The former Hillary campaign manager was the one who obviously stood behind the orchestrating of the Trump dossier, but he still denies any connection with Russia. He might not be telling the truth. <laughs> Podesta's ties with Russian officials are older than you think. This is the latest report. Watch the video below. Kremlin Connection. Joining us right now from Tallahassee is uh, Peter Schweitzer. He's the author of Clinton Cash, president of the Government Accountability Institute. Peter, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. So tell us about uh, John Podesta and his connection to uh, a, a Kremlin-backed company. Well, in, in 2011, John Podesta joins the board of this very small energy company called Jewel Energy, based out of Massachusetts. About two months after he joins the board, a Russian entity called Rus Nano puts a billion rubles, which is about $35 million, into John Podesta's company. Now, what is Rus Nano? Rus Nano is not a private company, Steve. It is a fund directly funded by the Kremlin. In mm -hmm. fact, the Russian science minister called Rus Nano Putin's child. So you have the Russian government investing in one of John Podesta's business is in 2011 while he is an advisor to Hillary Clinton at the State Department. While he's an advisor to Hillary Clinton. Okay, does anybody in the Trump circle uh, rise to the level where there's uh, this kind of money involved? Uh, no, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, nobody that is, you know, has an advisory role in the White House uh, has had this money exchanged, and certainly the money hasn't exchanged, as far as we know, right. uh, while they have been advising the president. Okay, so all that big money when he was the uh, uh, an advisor to Hillary Clinton, who was running for president, he was all and also at, at the uh, U.S. Department of State. But also, wasn't he a special counselor to Barack Obama when he was president and did not disclose the fact that he had, apparently, it looks like in his portfolio, all this Russian money? Oh, yeah, I mean, this is part of the problem, Steve. So then in 2013, he goes to the White House uh, to be special counselor to Barack Obama, uh, and that requires that you, you know, have financial disclosures every year. In his financial disclosure form in 2013, he not only fails to disclose these 75,000 shares of stock that he has in Jewel Energy, which is funded in part by the Russian government, he also fails to disclose that he is on one of the three... These stories are not new. They are old, but back at the time, everybody thought that the conservative blogs and social media sites are wrong. Well, not anymore. Stone Cold Truth reported about this issue, as well as many Fox News hosts who wanted to inform the nation about John Podesta's shady deals. John Podesta, former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton's 2016 National Campaign Chairman, may have violated federal law by failing to disclose the receipt of 75,000 shares of stock from a Kremlin financed company when he joined the Obama White House in 2014. The outlet also states that Podesta appears to be linked to a $35 million transaction between a Kremlin funded company and a company he sat on the board of. Exactly. So this is what exactly on Fox Business uh, where Maria Bartiromo questioned him and he denied it. But, well, uh, I guess it's true. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.